Give me a hard and a clean fight, man. Hard and clean, we'll see you in the cage, okay? Yeah, awesome. Coaches, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A calf kick, you calf kick, calf kick, you either take it away. You can either do your flick or you can switch. You can attack right or one. Always winning the feet. You can keep making hesitant from taking you down. You know where to go. Hey, Jack. Danny, you're going to keep time, yeah? What? you keep time? Keep time, five minutes. No? Time it? I have time. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know you do that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final fight on Prelims card. Tip Sport change, Game Changer quarter final. Three five minute rounds, lightweight bout. The referee in charge is Gerd Richter. Let me introduce you both fighters and we will start in the blue corner. He's 32 years old, stands 185 centimeters tall, weighting 70.8 kg. Represents Renegade MMA. Coaches in his corner are Marcin Mazurowski and Ash Peck. He has a professional record of 10 fights, 8 wins, 8 finishes and only 2 losses. Representing Neruda Cup team, Skupina 7, Česká Energie. And fighting out of England, Akon Chetai Bonlis. 
across the cage. He's 27 years old, stands 178 centimeter tall, weighting 70.7 kg. Octagon team Cheshire. Coaches in his corner are Michal Mankevich, Amadeus Ribica and Michal Pesta. He has a professional record of 12 fights, 11 wins, 7 finishes, only one loss, unbeaten in octagon, representing Neruda Cup team Goldfingers, fighting out of Poland, former lightweight octagon MMA champion, Dateusz Dynamite! Gentlemen, you know the rules, protect yourself at all times and listen to my comments when I say stop, you stop. My hand, my hand, my hand, you please. The bed in your corner. The second semi-finalist of Deep Sport Game Changer Pyramid. 30-27, 29, 28 and 30-27. All for the winner from Poland, Mateusz Dynamite Legierski. You are phenomenal, my friend. Yeah? You are phenomenal. Yeah? No doubt. You know where you're supposed to be, you know where you'll get, you know what you've got to do to do it. Yeah? Okay? Thank you, Roger. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, look after him. See you soon. Okay, fans. Jamaica. Thank you. After the first round, you went flat, man. Well, I felt it halfway through. Man. I only could throw like one or two shots. Yeah, three and four, you fucking stopped him. One or two shots, and I was stumbling. Inside. I was like, what the fuck? Fatigue, then. He, hit, he hit me with some shots, and then he was uh, trying to finish me. And I was like, no, motherfucker, no. No, you ain't finishing me. Nah. You're not finishing me. No way. Fuck. But he, he did a good job of holding me, man. He's very strong of holding me. In the well, he's advancing the gravity and weight in that position. On and if you ain't got the muscles or the fatigue, fatigue to move. You know what? So oh. fucked, fucked up and strange. I get up all the time from the position. I know that, but you were from the weight because you were a bit fucked. We know that, we knew that. You know, at one point I was messaging the guy from Octagon. You're just tired. You're just tired. It's not your skill. Yeah, it doesn't give you skill, it's just a weight cut. Yeah, yeah, no. three weight cuts, six Go weeks. Go home, look weeks. Nice break. Oh, gee. Right. <laughs> I guess I might finish the game. It's been a good fun ride. Bro, it's just a weight cut. Yeah. It was a weight cut. It was a weight cut. I'm ashamed. Now. It's only squish. Why? It's out of your control. Ashamed because I was tired. I'm a five round fighter, championship fighter. And you get tired in round fucking two and three. Yeah, but that's only because of the weight cut, innit? Yeah, I know. It's hey, look, when you were rehydrating, you're being sick. Yeah, yeah, I was very sick. That's why. I couldn't even see. And he, I thought he poked you accidentally in the eye in the first Yeah, 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 I couldn't see. I couldn't see out of that. I couldn't see out of that, no. The eye went underneath and then it popped back out. I did it. I couldn't fucking see out of that. I was trying to circle, circle. That's why you switched out for it. Yeah. Yeah, good. I hurt my rib in the first first exchange as well. Uh, as he went to try and take me down, and I hit the floor, my rib went pulled, pulled out. It's okay, part of it. Yeah? If you're going to be back in a few weeks again, so you're going to heal up a little again. It's as simple as that. Yeah, and um, big congrats to Ligurski. You know, it's been a very frustrating fight. Weekend for me, I uh, you know, I came in and I had the, the worst weight cut I ever had, and I was throwing up and stuff the day before, and I thought I'd be fine going in there. I believe in myself. I win or lose, I, I live or die by my lightsaber, as you would say, you know. And uh, it was just it's just very frustrating because I know what I'm capable of. I know I can beat Ligurski, and he got he got me today, and. I remember halfway through the fight, he, he hit me with a shot. Uh, 
after round one, I was completely gassed. I, 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 I normally, I do prepare very well, but you know, the weight goes to be without me, and, and you know, something I don't do either, miss weight, so I apologise for that. We, we got it done in the end, but you just thought, you just thought, it will kill me. So I, I'm glad that you enjoyed the workout. I did enjoy the performance, but I'll get my head back down, I'll go straight back to the drawing board, I'll make sure that I adjust all the things that I made mistakes on, you know, especially outside of the cage, and so I can come into the cage and perform the best of my abilities. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, thank you. Just one here, uh, Akon, to, to add to that, yeah. You see a huge one, 155 up, is 170 so in the near future. I have no problems making 155, it's just maybe maybe coming in, you know, I've, I've actually done three weight cuts in the space of 12 weeks. And, you know, it's unfortunate for circumstances and then uh, I missed my flight coming down here. I got, I got, here, I got in at like 11 o'clock and had to start cutting weight straight away and I couldn't re rehydrate for some odd reason, just, you know, throwing up and stuff like that and just, yeah, it's just, it's just a, mad, a mad thing. So I, I wouldn't say the weight is a problem. I, I, it's just unfortunate circumstances. Uh, but I tried my best out there. Uh, I, I said numerous times in the fight, you ain't killing me, you're not, you're not stopping me. And, he tried his best, man. He hit me with some really good shots. And he even done my, one of my special special celebrations after. You know, I've seen that. He done the, the hump. He stuck his fingers up. It's fair play. It's whatever. whatever. But uh, I definitely see us running this back in the future. You know, three rounds, he didn't finish me. I know what I'm capable of. And I will take out that champion. Man. You win some, you lose some. Come on, Lash. And tonight was not the Jedi's <laughs> night. Uh, you know, the uh, most frustrating thing is that the process of me getting here to the fight cost me the fight. I felt so flat in there after round one. Uh, my gas tank just went and <laughs> just disappeared. And I just had to literally fight with heart. <laughs> it was, I was trying to move in there and stuff and just not my original bouncy self. You know, I, I can go five rounds and maybe a bit off more than I can chew and uh, I just have to make sure that I get my weight cut bang on next time because, hey man, this is the third time I've lost now due down to a bad weight cut and yeah, for everyone that doesn't take weight cuts as seriously as they should, make this be a warning for you. But anyway, tomorrow's another day. I'm going to rest to recover, get back in the gym, pick up my lightsaber, you know, live by the lightsaber, die by the lightsaber, and uh, the journey continues. So thank you so much for following the YouTube. Thank you so much for subscribing. The journey's not over yet, just yet. And may the force be with you. Peace.